Welcome to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at launch mode and what you can do with it and explaining some of the different features. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is um, the different types of triggering we've got here for our clips. And I've set up a sort of quick test and um, I have four clips with each of the different modes and they're all set to a quantization of 16. And what this basically means is um, uh, when you click play on a on a clip, when is it going to start? And it can start on any 16th. And normally the default is set to global, which means it'll start um, whatever setting you have up here, which is normally set to one bar. So no matter when you hit um, play, it'll wait for the start of the next bar. And you can change this overall for the whole of the track, so all the clips will launch at different times. You could have half a bar or right down to a 30 second. But it's probably best to keep it at a bar overall and then you can use the quantization in each of the clips if you want to shorten it. So in this instance we're going to be looking at things in sixteenths and this gives you a sort of better idea of how the different modes work. So the first one is trigger and this is what it defaults to uh, and this is a very simple one. Once one, you one, click one, play, one, one, one. it'll keep playing if loop mode's on. And then you have to hit stop to stop it. The next mode is gate. And this works slightly differently in that um, you have to hold the play button down for it to continue playing. One, 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 one. If I let go of the mouse button after I've played it, the, the clip will stop. One, 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 one. One, one, one. So it's not continuously looping. And I've assigned all these clips to uh, my keyboard so you can sort of play about. One, 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 one. And that's me just bashing the keyboard and you'll notice that it's always staying in time. And that's because we have our quantization set to sixteenths. Um the next one is toggle. And this uh basically works that if you hit play, you have to hit play again to stop it. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. So you get the idea there. And the last one which is really interesting is repeat. And this will repeat um, based on your quantization value. So play this. One, 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 one. Such me just holding the the note down. One or the key or the key command down. One, 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 and it'll constantly repeat based on the quantization value. So you could even put it up higher. One, 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 one. So you can see there the how that would be useful. You could assign that to like a snare loop or a uh, snare sound or a drum loop and have it sort of repeating. Um, all over the place. So that's all the different types of launch modes.